Hello everyone, welcome back, here is Van Amsen and welcome to the Van Amsen Explain podcast. Today we have a special treat for you. We are going to unravel the mystery of technology that not just a buzzword, but is actively shaping our future, reinforcement learning, or a role for short. And we are not talking about a role in generic sense, we are zooming in on a powerful library called Stable Baseline Free. So what is stable baseline free? Uh, well, it's a PyTorch based library that offer reliable implementation of various reinforcement learning algorithms. Uh, it's the next iteration of stable baseline and is designed to make it easier for both the research community industry to replicate, refine and build upon uh, existing RL uh, algorithm and uh, the library is incredibly uh, versatile. So, industry application and even by the beginner who uh, are enthusiastic about a role. So, uh, let's delve into the algorithm that Stable Baseline Free support. You are uh, see that there are plenty of options uh, included, but not limited to. So, for example, A to C, Advanced Actor Critic, so great for problem where you need a balance between learning, speed, and stability. Uh, DDPG, so uh, deep deterministic policy gradient, ideal for continuous action, space like robotics. Uh, DQN, so deep Q network, perfect for problem with a discrete set of action like playing a trial game. Her uh, hindsight experience replay, useful for task where the goal changes dynamically. And PPO, uh, proximal uh, policy optimization, uh, a go-to algorithm for many thanks to its uh, efficiency and ease of use, uh, SAC, soft actor critic, known for its robustness and uh, suitability for wide range of tasks, uh, TD3, twin delight uh, DDPG, an extension of DDPG uh, designed to handle more complex problems. So you can uh, now think uh, about uh, a real transformation of traditional industries. So this brings us to our first uh, thought-provoking question. Could reinforcement learning be the key uh, to solving age-old inefficiencies in a sector like agriculture, manufacturing, and healthcare? Imagine you are running a logistic company and the routing of your delivery trucks, uh, saving fuel and time, or perhaps you are into game development, so uh, A to C could be uh, used to create more uh, intelligent and challenging NPCs, and the possibilities are endless, from healthcare to finance to robotics. So uh, if you are an entrepreneur or thinking of launching a startup, Stable Baseline Free could be your secret weapon. So with its robust set of algorithms and uh, utilities, you could build a product that leverages a role to solve complex problems that traditional algorithms struggle with. Whether it's uh, optimization energy consumption in smart homes or building a more intelligent recommendation engine, the sky is the limit. So is a role uh, the future of AI? Now let's uh, ponder another question. With its ability to learn from environment, uh, is a role uh, poised to be a dominant form of artificial intelligence in near future? And the answer could be very well uh, likely yes. So a real algorithm can adapt and improve over time, making them incredibly powerful tool for a wide range of application. So uh, common utilities of stable baseline free is not just about algorithm. It also provides a range of uh, utilities to make your life easier. So for example, Atari wrappers, for those uh, interested in game environment, uh, custom environment, and probability distribution, uh, tailor uh, the library to fit your specific needs, or uh, evaluating helper and gym environment checkers to ensure your uh, setup is perfect, logger, uh, actionizer, and other utilities to streamline your uh, development process of uh, RL before we wrap up, let's discuss the ethical implication of uh, RL as well. So as a, 
uh, algorithm make more decision for us from uh, driving cars to diagnostic diseases, uh, what ethical consideration should we keep in mind? It's a complex issue that warrants uh, careful thoughts and ongoing uh, dialogue between a researcher and practitioner. So first, in a series of uh, RL, uh, applied RL algorithm, and this episode is just the tip of the iceberg and we will be diving deeper into each algorithm uh, and uh, utility future uh, in future episodes, exploring how they can be applied in various uh, sectors. So, uh, Stable Baseline Free is a powerful tool for anyone interested in uh, a role. Uh, it's versatile and is of use, make it go to library for both beginners and experts. So, if you are looking to dive, into the world of LR, uh, Stable Baseline Free is a great place to start. Uh, that's it for today episode. Uh, stay tuned for more exciting content on uh, applied uh, RL and happy coding and see you next time.